Welcome back guys, it is thrift haul time and do I have a haul for y'all? Let's go ahead and get started. So the last couple weeks I have been out thrifting my little heart out, getting ready for my craft fairs that I tend to do heavily in the fall and just getting, you know, my normal all year round home decor, my seasonal stuff and the seasons to come. So I'm going to show you all of the goodies I have found in the last couple weeks. So I'm just going to start picking stuff up and we're going to go from there. So, okay, let's start with this little cute little wiener dog, little planter. So I actually didn't get this for myself. Um, I have a few others that I've picked up. I'll explain in a second. Cute little shoe. Another like beautiful little boot. So these will all be like vases, basically. Um, really cute snowman. So my boyfriend's cousin, her name is Erin Adams, um, Erin Adams Artistry. She's insanely talented and she does the wood flowers and she hand paints in incredible detail every individual flower. She deconstructs them and recreates ones. Um, she can even like take them, deconstruct them and make them into like little puppies and stuff. Insanely talented, you should check her out. Erin Adams Artistry. Um, but I picked these up for her actually because I thought they were all super cute and wouldn't really fit with what I'm doing, but I know that she likes those unique um, little vases and holders. So all of those that I have picked up are for her. Um, super cute and I love them. So I will go ahead and get those out of the way so I don't accidentally break them. And we'll get into the rest of this. Okay, so I am just gonna start grabbing things. I found this cute little tin coffee cup. So I'm gonna probably give this a painting. I'm not sure of what yet, but I'm gonna paint it up and I think I'm gonna attach it to some type of backing, I assume um, wood. I don't know if I'm gonna frame it or what I'm gonna do yet, but I thought that'd be really cute on somebody's coffee bar once I fix it up. I found this random little, I have no idea what this is, but it gives me honeycomb vibes. So I was planning on doing some type of like bee themed um, piece with this. It's a cute little wood. Found this cute little pocket tin. I love pocket tins, so anytime I find those, I do pick those up for myself. This cute vase that has like, it's like a ceramic vase with a leaf. So I'm gonna give this probably a paint job and do a little arrangement on it. Super cute little scarecrow. Look how sweet. I don't know where this was originally from, but I love him. I found a giant jumbo roll of burlap wired ribbon. It's a good find, I got it for $4. It's cute little Halloween sign. Where does this originally come from? It doesn't say, but um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I will kind of give it a makeover. Might make it a little more spooky. Um, speaking of spooky, I found this beautiful tin pumpkin and I'm, I love his look, her look, its look, and I'm gonna do more of like a spooky vibe for this. I don't know my full plan yet, but I'm really excited. I'm so excited to get this stuff flipped. I was like, I just need to do the haul video and get it out of the way so I can start just flipping things over. So... Um, I found this really cute, like, unicorn horse. <laughs> I mean, I know unicorns are horses with things, but, like, what's going on here? I don't know. I think it's really cute, but I'm going to paint it uh, more, just give it more of a little magical vibe. So I thought it would be really sweet in someone's room. I picked up these stocking holders. They're really nice quality. And they're in really good shape, actually. I was hoping I could find one more, but I only found three. But I'm just going to give them a really slight makeover. I don't know my exact plan yet, but I thought they'd be really cute. But they'd also be really cute for staging in my booth come the holidays. <clears throat> okay, I've picked up this little pumpkin. And I feel like 
this used to be a jar of some kind. It kind of has like, like a, there would be a twist top missing. So I don't know what it was used for, but I picked it up. Um, pumpkins, I like to have little shelf sitters sitting around. Um, I got this little milk tin. Just plain old milk tin. I don't know where it came from originally, but... Got another one. This one actually, um, the lid comes off. So it's actually a little usable tin. It's pretty cute. So I'll probably have to put a little note on here when I, whatever I decide to do with it to let someone know. Um, okay, I found this really cute. It's like a wooden lid that somebody made into like a little hanger. Um, I don't love this, but I do plan to um, put another like wreath or something on here. I think it's very sweet. A little decoration. I got another owl. He's a little candle holder. <clears throat> okay. Um, I believe... Um, I've done these before. Last year, all I did was Mod Podge on some glitter. People loved it. It sold pretty quickly, so I might just do something quick and easy like that. Don't broke it, break it if it's not... What? Don't fix it if it's not broken. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed with this snowman. All right, I forgot to clear space. So it cut off right in the middle of me showing you this. It is so cute. It's like really solid. It is amazing and a perfect little um, like base to do an arrangement in. I'm pretty obsessed. Okay. Um, I got this little pumpkin like arrangement. It's, it's a foam pumpkin, but it's like a pretty solid one. So I'm just going to... Um, I'll probably still reuse some of the foliage that's in here, but I'll probably, you know, add some of my own, um, pull some of this out and just brighten it up a little bit. I found two little trees, so I am on the lookout. If you watched my last haul, you know that I have all the sleighs. So I am on the lookout for all of the stuff to fill in those sleighs. So I found these two little Christmas trees um, they definitely need some love and some help, so I'll be redoing these, but it'll give me a good base to start off of whenever I put these into all of those different sleighs that I have. So, haven't found many so far this year. We usually don't struggle this hard, but I think I started shopping earlier for the actual greenery than normal. But while we're on the topic, I have found this big, beautiful garland. Um, it is full of big, beautiful pine cones and red berries, and I haven't opened it yet to stretch it out. But if I don't end up using it in my personal decorations, which I don't think so because I bought really good garland last year, um, then I'm going to piece it out. I'm just going to start, you know, cutting it apart and using it where I need to. And then I also found this one that I did plan on, you know, cutting down and making individual arrangements out of it. Um, I know the glare is bad, sorry, but it's more of a, like, plasticky feel, but it's all shimmery. Pretty cute, and then I found a berry garland with a lot of really good, still solid berries on it that I can also, you know, cut down and do, um, or I might have a few evergreen leaves left, or wreaths left that I need to go ahead and make and I might just intertwine this with it. Unsure. Got options. Okay, I found this really cute little birdhouse that looks like a little chapel. So I already have plans on how I'm going to make this look. I'm going to paint it up, but it's really sweet. I think it's super cute. I found this, I think this is a resin, um, little Thanksgiving sign. So I think it's really, it'll be really cute, but I'm definitely going to hit it with some paint of sorts. 
um, and kind of put my own style on it because right now it's just not doing it for me. I don't really like the blue. I feel like everything kind of is washed out. So I do plan on adding some good paint layers on here to kind of, you know, just spruce it up and make it a little more lovable to my eye. Found this cute little wood Christmas tree. Sweet and simple. I think I'm gonna do some painting on it, maybe add some texture to it. Oh, this adorable little wooden wheelbarrow. Are you kidding me? So sweet. It's so cute. Okay, um, I just found like a little foam pumpkin, so I'm gonna give it a slight makeover. I probably won't do too much, but I'll definitely do. Um, I like to use like sticks from the yard for the stems instead, make it more natural look, and I'll probably, um, I don't know, might use that little paint magic to make it look a little more realistic and then change out the leaf and stuff, but I found this super cute, adorable little teapot. I'm in love. It's so sweet. I don't know what that was. I think somebody had um, some type of arrangement in it or something because it looks like a little, like a piece of tape, but not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I kind of want to leave it as is, but I also kind of want to do some type of like transfer or decoupage on it just to give it a little bit more character, but I think it's super sweet. I found this suit really sweet pumpkin. Sweet must be my word today really cute pumpkin, wooden pumpkin, um, like a little bucket. What is this, bowl? And then I also found these sunflowers and a little um, pumpkin pick that I think I'm gonna use all of these together and make a little arrangement out of it. I thought these were really pretty. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna combine these. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. I found more stuff that I'm going to use to help embellish all of my sleighs. So these are just little gold picks. Um, and these are not the foam berries, so that's really nice. They're nice solid, um, so I don't have to worry about them like peeling off or anything. So good find there. Are you ready? Look at this. Look at this little wagon. Just a plain old little wagon. I am going to use my Cricut and probably do the Radio Flyer logo on either side. And then I don't know if I'm going to put anything in it or if I'm just gonna leave it as is um, and let whoever's buying it go from there. But I am obsessed. Why are miniature things just so cute? Okay, found a really good flower pail. And this really cute wood bucket. Um, is it wood? It's like a veneer type wood. Um, but yeah, I don't like this arrangement at all. She's just crusty dusty. So I'll be pulling that out and using the bucket for something else. But I really liked the bucket itself. Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. I have this sweet little lighthouse. So I do have an arc that I never ended up doing anything with that I found this spring. And so I was figuring, looking into the, you know, next year spring and all of that, um, I'll have like a little setup that I can do all together to style my booth with. Found this little wood and metal flower that I really like. I love the detail on it. got this little wire one it has an arrangement in it so I'll end up pulling that out reusing it somewhere how else or just like redoing it the arrangement but I liked the little bucket too I found this well it did my job for me um I was gonna say I found this clock so this was just in there like this that I could easily pop the face off of and use this base as um, some decor, which I've done this before. I don't know if you've watched that video, but I did like a little bird 
nest inside of it and it, it's really cute. So I planned on doing that again, but more of like a holiday vibe to it. Um, but yeah, the sweet little clock just popped right out for me so I don't even have to do it. But it does have some pretty detail on it. So I don't know. I'm going to put it back in for now. It already has feet. I added feet to my other one, so it's, it's, it's ready to go for me. Um, I found this wire basket, which, I don't know, I thought it was cute, and I'm always looking for staging baskets and stuff, so what I typically do, if it's a display piece that I'm not in love with, I will use it to display, but I'll go ahead and um, price it to sell, so if somebody wants to buy it, they can, and then I don't have to worry about it, because if I'm not attached, then it's fine. Um, look at this chonky boy. Look how cute. I love picking up birds and giving them little makeovers. Birds always do pretty decently in my booth. I don't know. I think birds are cute. Are they real? No one knows. It's fine. Um, just one of the little pumpkins, ceramic pumpkins. Like I said, I just pick up all those little things to have to fill gaps and cute little shelf sitters. I picked this up. Super cute. Somebody just did a, a real questionable spray paint on it, but that's what we're here for. We'll fix it up and I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but I'm assuming some type of um, verbiage and like, I don't know, decoupage of sorts. And then we'll find out if I go ahead and Add florals, I'll let somebody else do it. We'll see. Who's to say? This is for all the cat lovers out there. It's just one of those little like napkin plate holders. But I thought I had a really cute shape. So I'm just gonna paint it up, give it a makeover so it can find the right home. I got this cute little ceramic milk jug. I'm gonna give a makeover and do a little arrangement in. And last but not least, this little framed wreath. Um, I don't know if I'm going to reuse the wreath on it or if I'm going to do it more holiday. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. I know I need to paint this up because it is not my vibe. I'm not loving it. But, yeah. I don't know. We'll do something with it. So that I think. Let me look. Oh, and then I have um just a little tiered tray that was given to me. Well, it was technically given to my sister by a friend, and um she didn't really have a great use for it, so she gave it to me for display in my booth. So again, I will clean it up, do whatever I need, and then display stuff in my booth. And I don't know. I'll probably I might keep this one. It matches my colors. Everything I in my booth is black and white. Um, and pretty neutral so that would fit really well but I think that's everything let me get let me know in the comments below if you have one any ideas for any of the items you saw of what I should do with it two what was your favorite find that I got in this haul and three thumbs up if you enjoyed this content I don't make these videos often for you guys but I just get so excited about these finds that I want to share it with you and I like watching other people's hauls so just thought I'd share it with you and the best way to let me know is by giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment um, to let me know that you're enjoying this so again let me know if you have any ideas for any of the items that you see here and two if you what your favorite item was that I found or top three it, who's to say you don't have to pick one so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys in for a closer look and I'll see you next time